Good morning, folks. It's your bro, Richie Rich here. Uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, uh, this is a new video. Today in this video, I am going to be um, <clears throat> doing something special. So today, I'll be talking to you guys all about the best video game franchise in the whole world. So that means I'll be doing multiple versions of this game. Uh, so... Uh, you guys are probably wondering what am I talking about? So what video game franchise I'm discussing to you all about? Um, <clears throat> today I'll be uh, talking to you all about the video game franchise Need for Speed. So I did talk about like Need for Speed Rivals uh, 2013 long ago. Uh, long ago. Um, I think it was like... I think it was a year ago thing. I I can't remember, but it was before. It was before I did that Lamborghini Lanzador. Uh, I think it was twenty twenty six car. I think I can't remember, but I think it was roughly around a year ago, somewhere around there, I guess. So um, <clears throat> now, however, I'll be doing it in order. So for I'll be talking to you all about the Need for Speed video game franchise. So I'm gonna be doing it in order from like the very from like the very earliest to the very latest of the game, which is Need for Speed Unbound. Say Need for Speed Unbound. But first off, let's get the early ones sorted first and out the way. <clears throat> so today on the list, uh, I have got the Need for Speed. So this is the very first Need for Speed game ever in the franchise. And this came out in like the, like somewhere like in the early mid nineties, around 1994 it came out. So this is the first one I'm starting. <clears throat> so, before I start, make sure you all like the video, subscribe, comment down below what you guys think, hit the notification bell, and hit all so you are alerted when I make brand new uploads. Alright, <clears throat> so without any further ado, say without any further ado, <clears throat> without any further ado, let's begin. <clears throat> so, the need for, the need, for, I can't even talk, the need for speed, say, the need for speed, 1994, here we go. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, the Need for Speed, that's right, the Need for Speed, um, the Need for Speed is a 19, is a 1994, say, 1994, <clears throat> 1994 racing game developed by, uh, EA Canada, so EA, <clears throat> EA Canada, uh, original, originally known, originally known as Pioneer, Pioneer Productions, uh, say so Pioneer Productions, uh, and published and published by uh, EA or Electronic Arts for 3DO, so 3DO uh, interactive uh, multiplayer. <clears throat> say 3DO interactive multiplayer. Say mul 3DO interactive multiplayer in 1994. In 1994. Say 1994. It allows driving um, eight. So that's right, eight licensed sports cars. So eight licensed sports cars in three point-to-point, -point, like in three point-to-point -point tracks, either with or without a computer opponent. So either with, either with or without, either with or without a computer opponent. <clears throat> uh, checkpoints. Uh, traffic vehicles and so checkpoints, track so checkpoints, traffic vehicles and uh pol and police pursuits. Say police pursuits appear in the races. So, uh, the developer is is uh, developer is uh, EA Canada. So that's cool. EA Canada. <clears throat> Publishers are EA themselves and then EA EA Studios for both. MS dash DOS or MS DOS if you want and Windows. Uh producer is a uh, Hano Limk. So Hano is spelled H A H so he <clears throat> H A N N O <clears throat> And his last name is spelled L E M K E uh, programmer is a programmer. Programmer 
is um programmer is uh Brad Brad Gore. So Brad Gore, his last name is spelled G O U R. It's like saying Tor, but taking out the T and putting the G. So it it's like saying Tor, but just remove the T from Tor and put G, and you get Gore. <clears throat> kind of weird, but kind of a clever technique as well at the same time. Artist. So the artist is uh, Marcus. Marcus Tessman. It's like saying Marcus, but without the C, we put the K into it. So Marcus Tessman is the artist. Uh, the composers are both uh, Jeff Van Dyke. So Jeff Van Dyke, and um, and Saki Saki Kaskas. <clears throat> so composers are composers. Are, composers are. I can't even talk. Composers are both Jeff Van Dyke and. Saki Casas. The, se the series is obviously Need for Speed, of course. Uh, platforms are for uh, 3DO, so 3DO, MSDOS, Windows, PlayStation, and and Saturn. Uh, now we got releases uh, for 3DO. So 3DO in North America, it's uh, December nineteen ninety December nineteen ninety four. Doesn't show the date, but I believe it was like the, uh, the earliest, I think. I think it was the first, I think. I'm not too sure. Say, so, release 3DO, <clears throat> North America, December 1990, December 1994. Say, so, 19, 19, 19, 1994. There we go. Say, so, North America, December 1994. In Europe, is December 2nd, 1994. Uh, for MS... MS DOS, say MS DOS. Um, <clears throat> uh, in North America, it's from September, so September nineteen ninety five. Say September nineteen ninety five. September nineteen ninety five. PlayStation, uh, they released it on for both North America and Europe. So North America is uh, March twentieth, nineteen ninety six. And in Europe is uh, March twenty second, nineteen ninety six. So, two days um, uh, after North America. <clears throat> so, PlayStation North America March twentieth, nineteen ninety six. So North America March twentieth, nineteen ninety six. And in Europe, so say North America March twentieth, nineteen ninety six. And in Europe. March twenty second, nineteen eighty six. For Windows, it's a uh, June nineteen eighty June nineteen eighty six. Doesn't show the date, but I believe it's like the earliest. I suppose it's like the first, probably of June, nineteen ninety six. I'm not quite sure. <clears throat> uh, for Saturn, it's uh for for uh, North America, it was June. So June, June twenty sixth, uh nineteen nineteen ninety six. Uh. In Europe, it's July 5th, so 5th of July, the day after the fireworks, uh, 1980, uh, 1996. Say the 4th of July, the fireworks go off in America. Salute. I like doing it for fun. Just, I like doing it for fun. Anyways, so yeah, Europe, July 5th, um, 1996. A genre is racing. The mode is for both single player and multiplayer, so you can play on both. <clears throat> If you wish, or if you want to just do one, it's totally up to you. So either single player or multiplayer. Say single player or multiplayer, totally up to you. Anyways, uh, ports were released. So ports, <clears throat> ports were released <clears throat> for MSDO, MS, I can't talk, MSDOS in 1995. Then both PlayStation, so PlayStation and Sega Saturn in 1996, say 1996, with additional tracks and cars, say with with additional tracks and car, tracks and cars. <clears throat> the Need for Speed was renamed Overdriven, so Overdriven, Overdriven DX, so Overdriven DX in Japan, say in Japan, so in Japan and a re in Japan and a version for uh, Microsoft Windows 
was sold as the Need for Speed SE. Saying the Need, the need for Speed SE. So SE stands for Special Edition. Um, EA, EA, <clears throat> EA collaborated with um, automotive magazine uh, Road and Track. So Road and Track to match vehicle behavior, including the mimicking of the sounds made by the vehicle uh, vehicles gear control shifters. This is levers, but I prefer shifters. Shifters a lot better. <clears throat> The game contains a uh, precise vehicle data with spoke. So, the game contains contains precise vehicle uh, data with spoken uh, commentary. So, spoken commentary, uh, several several magazine style uh, images of each car's interior and exterior, and short video clips highlighting uh, the vehicles set to music. So, set to music. <clears throat> The game was a was a commercial success. Say a commercial success. Sounds good. So commercial success. Uh, video game uh, publications uh, praised the incorporation of realism into the, both the gameplay, so gameplay and graphics, um, as well as the inclusion of full motion videos. Say full motion videos. Um, it's the first installment, so first installments are uh, released, released in the Need for Speed series, which has influenced other racing games. <clears throat> Next up, gameplay. So gameplay we're on. The premise of the premise of the Need for Speed, so Need for Speed involves, so involves racing in sports cars including several exotic uh, models and Japanese imports, which I'll always go with. I was, was a huge fan of Japanese, huge fan of Japanese, Japanese imports. So that's cool. <clears throat> the original, original uh, 3DO version includes three point-to-point -point, uh, tracks, each divided into three stages. Uh, subsequent port so subsequent ports feature both the uh point to point uh tracks so point to point tracks and new closed circuits both the saturn and playstation versions so both the saturn and playstation playstation versions include an additional additional three tracks <clears throat> traffic vehicles appear in races and may be avoided by the player uh, police pursuits say police pursuits are also a key gameplay mechanic with the player ticketed either ticketed so ticketed or arrested so ticketed is like when you're getting a ticket from the cops or arrested by them if a police if a police car succeeds in catching up with them players are arrested if they receive a third that's right third third police ticket there's old memos old memo like old saying three strikes and you're out so third police ticket or a second ticket in the sega in the sega saturn uh, version in the special edition <clears throat> special edition uh completing completing the tournaments or entering a cheat code unlocks the rally mode where car dynamics are changed to make for a faster arcade uh, experience, as well as the Warrior, so that's right, wa Warrior PTO E slash two, a fiction, so a Warrior PTO, so Warrior PTO E slash two, <clears throat> a fictional, fictional jet powered, so jet powered sports car, except, except for the uh, aforementioned Except for the aforementioned warrior, so aforementioned warrior, each car, so each car in the game, came with detailed specifications, history, audio commentaries, and real life videos, which would which would also be, <clears throat> excuse me, which would also be uh, featured in subsequent games uh, in the series. So in the series, though this was omitted in later games. 
a replay feature uh, allowed so a replay feature allowed allowed the player allowed the player to view a saved saved race multi I was gonna say multiplayer sorry huh? multiple there we go multiple camera views so multiple camera views playback speed and video navigation are offered <clears throat> multiplayer consists of a two player uh head to head uh racing mode it's a head to head head to head racing mode uh which requires uh computers uh connected connected via modem which is known as a modular uh demodulator so mod modulator demodulator sorry about that so just taking out the first two letters from modular and the first three letters from demodular <clears throat> so you take out mo from modular well modulator sorry say modulator and dem from demodulator combine them together and you get modem <clears throat> Which is a com which is a which is a computer computer hardware so computer hardware device that converts data from a digital format into a format format suitable for an analog transmission medium such as a telephone or a radio. Say so which requires computers connected connected via modem. There are a total of six. That's right, six. Um, Courses in the game, three in the uh, 3DO version. <clears throat> so we got city. That's right. City, coastal. <sighs> Sorry. So, city, coastal, alpine, rusty, rusty springs. Say, rusty springs. Autumn Valley and Vertigo. Not sure what that is, but oh well, it's in the game. Each is a each is a distinctive environment. It's a distinctive environment. <clears throat> uh, city, coastal, so city, coastal, and alpine or alpine, if you want to if you want to pronounce it that way, have three sections each, uh, while the others are just circuit races. So while the others are just circuit races. There's an extra there's an extra track in the game named Lost Vegas. It's like saying Las Vegas but taking out <coughs> but taking out the A and the S and putting O S T and you get lost instead of Las Vegas. So Lost Vegas. Uh which can be unlocked by winning all of the tracks above in tournament tournament mode. That's right, tournament mode. A flag in the bottom right so a flag in the bottom right corner of the track's image indicate a victory. So they indicate a victory. <clears throat> a victory um, in the menu to help the player keep track of the progress. Next up we got is both development, so development, development and release. <clears throat> the, need, the need for speed, so the need for speed was uh, the Need for Speed was noted for its realism and audio and video uh, commentaries. EA collaborated with Automotive Magazine Road and Track to match vehicle behavior, including including the mimicking of the sounds made by the made by the vehicle's uh, gear con gear gear control levers. Uh, the game also uh, contained precise um, vehicle data. With spoken commentary, several magazine style images of each car's interior and exterior, and short video clips highlighting <clears throat> highlighting the vehicles the vehicles set to music. Inspiration for the gameplay came from so inspiration inspiration for the gameplay came from Test Drive, which is a nineteen eighty seven so a 1987 video game. So it's a racing video game. Developed by Distinctive um, Software and published by Accolade. Released in 1980s, released in 1987 for Atari ST, 
Commodore 64, Commodore 64 <clears throat> and DOS in 1988. So 1988 for the Apple II and later ported for the uh, PC-98 in uh, 1989. It's the first game in the Test Drive series. It's a Test Drive, which had shared development uh, staff, so which had shared development staff, f development staff with the Need for Speed. So the Need for Speed was released in 1994 for the 3D, for the 3DO. <clears throat> Say 3DO. And then we got uh, both ports and Japanese versions. So we got ports first. In 1996, an edition of the Need for Speed, the Need for Speed, so the Need for Speed Special Edition, so Special Edition, was released was released only on PC, <clears throat> PC, CD, dash R O M, containing MS, so MS dash DOS, so MS DOS and Windows ninety five version, say Windows ninety five. 95 version <clears throat> so 90 windows 95 versions it includes two new tracks uh trans transtropolis and burnt sienna and various enhancements to the game engine the windows 95 version uh supports uh both direct x so DirectX 2 and IPX networking. So IPX networking. <clears throat> the Need for Speed, so or the NFS Special Edition, uh, in the is the only game in the NFS series uh, to support M to support MS DOS. Um, as subsequent releases only supports only support Windows. Support Windows 9X. So Windows 9X. In June 1995, so almost a, almost in mid 19, somewhere in like mid 1995, Atari Corporation, <clears throat> Atari Corporation, so Atari Corporation, struck a deal with EA. So they struck a deal with EA. So yeah. Struck a deal with EA. In order, in order to bring several titles from their catalog, including so to bring several titles, so several titles from their catalog, so from their catalog, including the Need for Speed, to the Atari Atari Jaguar CD, which is a CD <clears throat> ROM. Um, I can't pronounce this word. Hang on, I'm gonna do some translating. Peripheral. Peripheral, so peripheral for the Jaguar. Jaguar video game console. All right. Hang on a second, guys. I'm back real quick. All right. Well, that was a surprise. Bit of a no-brainer. My phone died. Great. 
Unfreaking believable. I was like halfway through with this. Now I'm gonna have to like look back of where I left off to now. So, so after I do this one, I've got more of the early Need for Speed games, and then I got some like famous ones like Most Wanted, uh, Carbon, Pro Street, Hot Pursuit. Um, <clears throat> I was gonna say Rivals, but I completed that one long ago. Then I got Payback, Heat, and then possibly I got also Unbound. I want to do as well. <clears throat> So, never really talked about like the Need for Speed uh, video game franchise for a long time, considering I've done Need for Speed Rivals. I haven't talked about the previous ones before, but oh well. It is what it is, technically. So, way to go. Unbelievable. So, I'm gonna have to look back of where I left off to for this. So, I was on developments and release. There we go. So, development and release. So, the Need for Speed was noted. Where's realism and audio? <clears throat> Say realism, realism and audio, and video commentaries. EA collaborated with Automotive Magazine, Road and Track, to match vehicle behavior, including the mimicking of, including the mimic, including the mimicking of the sounds made by their vehicles, made by their vehicles gear selectors. Well, vehicles gear control gear control levels so gear control levers there we go so gear control levers <clears throat> the game also contained uh, precise vehicle data was so precise vehicle data was spoken commentary several magazine style uh, images of each car's interior and exterior <clears throat> and short video clips highlighting the vehicles set Vehicles set to music. Uh, inspiration for the gameplay came from Test Drive, which had shared development staff with the Need for Speed. The Need for Speed was released in 1994 for the 3DO. There we go, parts. Not parts, sorry, ports. There we go. <clears throat> it's like saying parts, but taking out the A and putting the O into it. In, 19, in, 1990, in 1996, I can't even talk right now. In 1996, an addition, so addition of the Need for Speed, so Need for Speed. So in 1996, so in 1996, <clears throat> an addition, so an addition of the Need for Speed, the Need for Speed Special Edition, so Special Edition was released only on PC, uh, PC, CD, so PC, CD, <clears throat> PC, CD, so PC, CD, ROM. So PC, CD, ROM. So CD, ROM. So ROM. Containing MS, DOS, so both MS, DOS, and Windows 95. Windows 95. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Windows 95 versions. So Windows 9 Windows 95 versions. It includes two new tracks. So two new tracks. So two new two new tracks. Uh Transtop so Transtropolis. So Transtropolis and Burnt Sienna. And various enhancements to the game engine. So in various enhancements to the game engine. The Windows 95, Windows 95 version supports both, both Direct, <laughs> Direct X2, and IPX networking. The NFS Special Edition, 
is the only game in the NFS series to support 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 MSDOS as subsequent as subsequent subsequent releases. So subsequent releases uh, only supports so only support Windows nine Windows nine nine X in June nineteen ninety five. Um, so in June 1995, um, <clears throat> so in June 1995, so 1995, Atari Corporation, so Corporation struck a deal with EA in order to bring several, several titles, so several titles from, uh, their catalog, including the need, for, including the need for speed to the Atari, Atari Jaguar CD. Which is a CDROM, CDROM, uh, peripheral for the Jaguar. So Jaguar video game console. So video game console. Now this literally kind of looks like a console, but it looks like a phone at the same time. I mean, I can't explain like what this one looks like. It's Let's show you. So this is the Atari, Atari Jaguar CD. Um, wait till hold on. I'll show you. This is what it looks like right here. See this part? That is what it looks like. The Atari, Atari Jaguar CD. Now this part right here looks like one of those old school office phones kind of and in this part it looks like one of those like kind of like early 2000s kind of old school like cd players i think i'm not 100 percent sure i'm not quite sure about this but kind of looks like that but well so it's yeah, so the atari atari jaguar cd these ports along with the need for speed were so went unreleased so they were not even released at that time and last but certainly not the very least we'll get one more part but one last part for this one <clears throat> for the for the develop, development and release said so development and develop i can't talk development and release we got japanese versions so this could be interesting so let's do it <clears throat> let's do it <clears throat> In nineteen in nineteen ninety four, say nineteen ninety four. So in nineteen ninety nineteen ninety four. E A Victor, say so E A Victor. Uh, translated, so translated, the three D O, three D O version, so three D O version of the Need for Speed, so of the Need for Speed, so ne the Need for Speed, in Japanese, say in Japanese. Japanese, so Japanese, <coughs> excuse me, Japanese, and and released it in Japan as Road and Track presents Overdriven. So that's for like the for both like the front cover and like the credits and so on and so forth. So the PlayStation uh, ports or version of this game. Was so the PlayStation version of this game was exported to that country, say so to that country as Overdriven, so Overdriven DX, so Overdriven DX, <clears throat> Overdriven, so Overdriven DX in nine in nineteen nineteen ninety six. Uh, two additional additional Nissan. That's right, Nissan, Nissan sponsored, so Nissan sponsored, sponsored, uh, versions, so versions of the game were announced, of the game were announced, announced at that year's, at that year's TGS, so which stands for Tokyo, Tokyo Game Show, <clears throat> say Tokyo Game Show, which they held it at, 
<clears throat> at Makohari Mesa in uh, Chiba. <clears throat> so in uh, Chiba. So in Chiba, uh, Japan. It's 40 kilometers, 25 miles east of the center and east of the center of Tokyo on Tokyo Bay, Japan. Said, said two additional Nissan sponsored uh, versions of the game were announced um, <clears throat> at that year's uh, Tokyo Game Show. Said Tokyo Game Show. <clears throat> Tokyo Game Show. Nissan presents. So Nissan presents overdriven. So Nissan presents overdriven GTR. So that's cool. Released in nineteen released in nineteen ninety six for the Sega Saturn. So Sega Sega Saturn. Uh, and Nissan. So Nissan. <clears throat> Nissan uh presents. Nissan presents. Overdriven Skyline. So overdriven. Skyline Memorial say so Memorial released in released in 1990 1997 for the PlayStation as for the front cover and credits the former uh, car lineup um, <clears throat> consists consists only of Nissan vehicles whilst the latter whilst the latter um, exclusively features um, Skyline, that's right, Skyline. So, Skyline models. So, yeah, Skyline models. So, yeah, Skyline models. <clears throat> and last, Brazilian. And last but certainly not the very least, we got is reception, and then that's the last part. <clears throat> so, we got for reception the review scores. So, uh, for publication and for the scoring, so we got so basically like a star and like a, out of a hundred or blah 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 rating and percentage ratings and so on and so forth. So, so we got publications. So publication and score. So starting off with uh, I don't know if how many there are. Twelve of these, I think. So roughly twelve. So starting off with the first one is all game. So um, <clears throat> so all game. Uh, for three D O, it's four and a half stars. So four and a half stars, which is like ninety percent. So ninety ninety percent, and then for the for the PS1, it's 80%, so that's four stars. So pretty good, it's not bad. Four stars is pretty good. So that's for all game. And now for com computer, <clears throat> com computer, so computer and video games. So computer and video games. Uh, for 3DO, uh, 93%. PS1, 60%. Say sixty percent ratings. Out of a hundred, this is say out of a hundred. All this is uh, for Edge uh, for three D O eighty percent. Um, electronic uh, gaming monthly uh, for three D O eighty percent. P S one eighty seven point five. So eighty seven point five percent. So that's for Electronic Gaming Monthly. So Electronic Gaming Monthly. <clears throat> electronic Gaming Monthly. Then we got Game Pro. So Game Pro uh ninety so ninety percent. So that's out of five. So it's a four point five out of five rating for the PS1. Not bad. Ninety five well ninety percent actually. Ninety percent. Pretty good. <clears throat> Same. 90, 90% roughly. Say so Game Pro for the PS1, 90, 90%. Uh, GameSpot uh, for the PC, 
83%. So it's good. So 83%. IGN, 70%. So IGN, 70%. Uh, mean, mean machine. So mean machines. Sega, 90%. Uh, for next next generation, so next generation for both the PS One, so PS One, and SAT. Eighty percent. Uh, for three DO. A bit low, forty percent, unfortunately, and it goes for the same for maximum, maximum for the PS One, uh, forty percent as well. However, however, for PC Power, so PC Power. PC power 95% say so 95% says so pretty good say so 95 95% and then for Sega Saturn uh, magazine so Sega Saturn magazine uh, for SAT 75% say so 75% <clears throat> The game, the game, <clears throat> the game, uh, reached number f number five in the UK sale. So number five in the UK sales chart. The PC version reached, uh, the PC version reached the top ten. Say so top ten. Top ten. <clears throat> top ten, in many software. So in many software uh, retailers, uh, charts for uh, several months, so several months following its release, um, the Need for Speed, so the NFS or Need for Speed was met with positive reviews. So that's good. Good. <clears throat> Same with positive reviews. The four reviewers, so the four reviewers of EGM, which is electronic electronic gaming monthly electronic gaming monthly <clears throat> scored the 3do version so scored the 3do version an 80 percent average with two of them so two of them giving the game a 90 percent or higher so 3DO 8.0 average. So with two of them giving the game a 9.0. So 9.0 or higher. <clears throat> they praised the game's uh, realistic. Uh, so they praised the game's both realistic uh, graphics and sounds. So graphics and sounds. Um, <clears throat> so yeah. Realistic, so realistic graphics and sounds, uh, uh, addictive gameplay, and exceptionally clever use of full motion video. Game Pro, so Game Pro, uh, gave it gave it a rave review, as well, commenting that the selection of cars will leave. We'll leave, so we'll leave, uh, car buffs drooling. Well, the, I'll just call it car guys. It's just much, e much easier or car enthusiasts. This is a lot, of, a lot better word. So car enthusiasts drooling and a realistic graphics and handling <clears throat> and a realis and a realistic graphics and handling. So graphics and handling, I can't talk graphics and handling. There we go. Uh, of each vehicle infuse the game with both taught realism so taught realism and fascinating uh variety there we go so fascinating variety variety <clears throat> they expressed they expressed disappointment so disappointment disappointment over the lack of a uh, two player two player mode uh but felt that the exception exceptionally a uh, challenging enemy um, AI largely uh, makes up for it so makes up for it <clears throat> next generation so next generation 
So Next Generation Magazine, which was a US video game magazine that was published by Image Media. Now it's published by Future US. <clears throat> so Next Generation so Next Generation reviewed the 3DO version of the game and stated that while everything is in place for a truly great game, the unfortunate, so both the unfortunate, so unfortunate and total Need for Speed prevents the Need for Speed from ever being more than a more than a pleasant Sunday drive. Whatever the person's talking about, British magazine, uh. PC Power uh, gave the Windows version a score of ninety a score of ninety five percent. Is this good? Ninety ninety five percent. So ninety ninety five percent praising praising car handle so praising car handling uh, graphics and overall presentation. So overall presentation, but critic criticizing criticizing hardware requirements. So both hardware requirements and sound. <clears throat> Jim, so Jim, Jim Varner of uh, Gamespot. So Jim Varner of Gamespot gave the game a great rate. So great rating. <clears throat> great rating of 83% uh, citing, so 83% citing with its marvelous, marvelous, att marvelous attention, so marvelous attention to detail, so yeah, um, <clears throat> so detail, exotic course design, and straightforward gameplay. <clears throat> this game is a true winner. Simply put, the need for speed is the next best thing to owning a $200,000 sports car. $200,000 sports car. That's quite cool and interesting. The two sports the two sports reviewers so the two the two sports reviewers of Electronic uh, Gaming Monthly, so Electronic Gaming Monthly, applauded so applauded the PlayStation. Well, I'll call it uh, the PS version for both its fast racing and excellent controls. So excellent controls. <clears throat> Air Hendrix. So Air Hendrix. So Air Hendrix argued in Game So Air Hendrix argued in Game Pro. So argued in Game Pro that with all these improvements, <clears throat> uh, the PlayStation version is practically a sequel to the 3DO game, and it plays like one. <clears throat> he made particular mention. So particular mention. Particular mention of the. Particular mention of the uh, additional <clears throat> additional courses, e-brake, improved display, and faster speed of the game. A next generation, next generation. <clears throat> so next generation, next generation critic, say critic, likewise found it both more. Faster and more responsive uh, than the three DO version, and held it to be one of the <clears throat> one of the PlayStation's best racing games uh, to date. Other magazines were um, more crucial, not crucial, sorry, more critical. There we go, with PSM. Uh, so it's like PlayStation management criticizing the abusive uh, graphic, I mean obtrusive graphics, and saying that it isn't an 
immediately enjoyable game the the ideal so idiosyncrasies can't really pronounce that but it spells <clears throat> i-d-i-o s-y-n c-r-a c-i-e-s only serves to annoy maximum complained that the driving lacks intensity and that cars are too resistant to crashes though they acknowledged that the game i mean that the graphics are moderately impressive air hendrix uh rated the saturn version a comparable with and occasionally better than the impressive playstation version highlighting highlighting the controls in particular as superior so superior to previous versions of the game he concludes well concluded the gameplay demands both precision driving and like and courage <clears throat> i would say and although mastery takes time so takes time to achieve uh needs so need for speeds ultimately so needs ultimately more satisfying than daytona or sega rally rub Rob Allsetter, so Rob Allsetter of, of Sega Saturn magazine, however, however said that while the Need for Speed is good for its own terms, it looks dated compared to the two games of uh, the two games Air Hendrix, re, Air Hendrix, Air Hendrix uh, referenced. <clears throat> he also disliked the game's elements of realism arguing that racing games are more fun when they indulge in wild uh, fantasy a next gen critic said that it was said that it was certainly as fast but not as but not as crisp as the as the playstation version but nonetheless a better racer than most <clears throat> and last but certainly last but certainly not the very least we got is Accolades, so accolades, and then I'll, and then I'll end it there. So accolades, and then I'll end it there. <clears throat> Let's finish this. The Need for Speed, so the Need for Speed, the Need for Speed was a runner-up. So the Need for Speed was a runner-up. So a runner-up for uh, Computer Gaming World's 1995 Action Game of the Year award, which ultimately went to Crusader. So Crusader, No Remorse. <clears throat> which is an action game developed by Origin Games and published by EA. It was first released in 1995 for MSDOS, with the Sony PS and Sega Saturn ports following in 1997. Set in a dystopian future 22nd, te 22nd century, the game centers of the captain, a second ops, uh, both officer and super soldier, who, defe who defects from the tyrannical the tyrannical world government the wec <clears throat> world economic consortium and joins the resistance rebels it's a crusader no crusader no remorse yet ed the editors wrote the need for speed electronic arts incredibly fast and and thrilling and thrilling driving game also caught the checkered flag multiple multiple courses with distinctive so multiple courses with distinctive feelings bring bring what oh, hold on multiple courses with distinctive feelings brilliant svga <clears throat> svga uh graphics and some of and some of and some of the hottest iron on the road made this 3do 3do conversion a worthy entry into the pc it's a pc action game arena <clears throat> so game arena in 1996 game master so in 1996 in 19 in 1996 games master so games master <clears throat> games master ranked the need for speed so the need for speed 87th so 87th place on their top 100 games of all time in the same issue 
So in the same issue, they also rated the 3DO version 6th place. <clears throat> so 6th place, and it's the Games Master, so the Games Master 3DO Top 10. <sighs> Last part, and I'll end it there. In 1998, so in 1998, <clears throat> in 1998, Saturn Power, so Saturn Power, Saturn Power listed the game 100th place in their top 100, so in their top, in their top 100, top 100, uh, Sega Saturn, Sega Saturn games. <clears throat> All right. All right, and that is finally it. So, God, so exhausted. All right, so if you guys like this video, uh, like and subscribe, comment down below what you guys think, hit the notification bell and hit all so you're alerted to when I make brand new uploads. Alright, so that's gonna wrap it up for today. Um, for my next Need for Speed video, I've got more Need for Speed games from the 90s and then the, up to the 2000s and then 2010s and so on and so forth. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, I'll have to check the list of like the Need for Speed games I'll be uh, talking to you all about. Um, I still got a lot, but I will, uh, I'll do more in the near future, but I'll find out like what I can do and so on and so forth. And uh, I'll do more of the driving lines videos. I haven't done those for a long time. I should get those out the way first. And then I'll do possibly more Need for Speed games. I'm not quite sure, but I'll find out. Anyways, guys. So that'll be it for now. Um, <clears throat> uh, if you guys like this uh, video, like and subscribe. Comment down below what you guys think. Hit the notification bell and hit all so you're alerted of when I make brand new uploads. Alright. <clears throat> so that'll be it for now. I'll see you guys soon in the next video, but until then, stay safe, have a fantastic morning, and a fantastic day as well, and I'll see you guys soon in the next video. So, take care folks, so, take care folks, stay safe out there, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.